So here's an article. Uh, this is about the passing of Shauna. And I, how did we decide? Tripsick. That? Tripsick. I Shauna Tripsick. Tripsick. Uh, I have an article up here from StarWars.com. Shauna Tripsick uh, remembered. Uh, and I just thought it would be fun. Uh, Good for us to, to go over this article here. Lucasfilm is deeply saddened by the passing of the extremely talented, Emmy-nominated costume designer, Shauna Trippick, uh, who envisioned some of the most iconic costumes from the Star Wars series, The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka. So even though Shauna was, uh, you know, relatively new into the Star Wars world, she put together a lot of really interesting stuff for us. Mm-hmm. Um she was born in California, received her first costume designer credit in 1990, so she's been working for a while, uh, steadily building her career on scores of productions with large and small before finding a regular home on Lucasfilm Productions. So she began with the second season of The Mandalorian in 2019. Okay. Uh, she was considered something of a Star Wars historian by her peers, reading mm. every making of book she could to, to uh, find or to better understand techniques used in the films during various eras. That's cool. In her study, she specifically sought out material that included discussions between George Lucas and his designers and concept artists, which became the foundational ideas of her never-ending research into Star Wars costume design. It'd be cool to That's be able to, awesome. like, That's you go in and you're looking at all these different, like, costume designs from the past and stuff. Yeah. And, like, I imagine it Every being, Every making like, of book. <laughs> I imagine it being, like, when we would talk, like, Star Wars chore- choreography. Yeah. And we would mention about moves and feelings Specific, from other yeah. fights and things that we've seen. And we would all just be like, oh, yeah, like this. Yeah. It's like, uh, like being like, oh, do you want a Malgus? And we're yeah. like, oh, yeah, Malgus. That'd be great. And we, yeah. And I remember when that, that happened. Specifically, yeah. Antoine Bandelet came out to yeah. record Kyler in the Awakening. We had never really worked with each other uh, in person. It's always no. been an online relationship. But when he got there and we started choreographing, and I, there was one part where it was like, what do we do here? And I was like, I don't know, do like, it's like a Malgus thing. He, he goes, I know exactly what you want yeah. of me. Yeah. <laughs> I picture the same thing, though, with like yeah. going back and looking at like uh-huh. all these costumes and stuff. I was like, maybe we could do like a, you know, an episode two Padme. And he'd be like, yeah. oh, do you mean this scene or this scene? He's like, oh, this one. And like this, just having that knowledge of knowing like costumes and designs mm-hmm. of these different outfits and props and stuff, yeah. too. Like, you just like, okay, and then you start building something new yeah. by having an idea of, like, these other, and it still feels Star Wars, but it can feel new because sure. you're pulling from that same yeah. thing, which is really cool. You know, I've always been fascinated by when you would hear, back in the day, costume design, like, there's no zippers. You don't see zippers ever in Star Wars. They're there, but you don't see them, right? Like, Bespin fatigues that Luke wears in, in the fifth, uh, episode five. Like, he obviously has a zipper. But they put like a thing over it with Velcro, <laughs> you yeah, know, it's covered up. Yeah, so I know that we've seen, we've had some zippers pop up in the various newer stuff, and some people aren't happy by it. But I don't know if uh, if Shauna had an opinion on the zippers of Star Wars. Hmm. But that is cool that she would dive into the making of books and try to get as close as possible to the foundational ideas of the of the costume design. Yeah, and listen, you know. Listen to discussion between George Lucas and his designers. Like, the archives at Lucasfilm, they have so much stuff that we don't have access to. That'd be so cool. Because I know they recorded, like, all the Clone Wars meetings, the story meetings and stuff. That stuff's all recorded somewhere, and I don't know if it'll ever be released to the public, but Hmm. it will be a lifelong dream to... Like, brainstorming sessions for one kind of thing? We should break into Lucas. No, they did that in Fanboys. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you hear, you know, Fanboys was directed by Kyle Newman, and apparently he just directed Taylor Swift's new music video. No, man. Yeah. Right? I, didn't, I didn't know that. So oh, the guy who cool. directed Fanboys directed the music That's video? what oh. I heard. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Trippic worked closely with showrunners, producers Dave Filoni and John Favreau, as well as the entire cast and crew on The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka, approaching her work with surgical precision. Uh, Shauna had a deep love and appreciation for Star Wars, says Dave Filoni. You can see that in every piece of work she did with us. She loved everything about being a part of these stories, including connecting the fans, uh, uh, I'm sorry, connecting with fans and being a part of that community. I feel like she always has been a part of Star Wars. Her costumes tell a story, providing the suggestion of a life experience that happened before the cameras rolled. The love, uh, I loved collaborating with Shauna and I will miss her presence. Her creativity brought this world to life, adds Favreau. She will be dip- deeply missed both as a friend and a coll- colleague. Trippic was nominated for an Emmy for her work on The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Book of Boba Fett, and she won Costume Designer Guild Award for her work on the latter, so Book of Boba Fett. Cool. She is currently nominated for an Emmy for her work on uh, 
The Mandalorian Season 3. Our hearts go out to Shauna's family and friends at this difficult time. So this article came out uh, earlier this month, so I guess the Emmy thing is probably still in play. I don't know. One of the Emmys. I don't know. But yeah, she could have a uh, uh, an, an Emmy win from beyond. Sure. Yeah. But that's... That's really cool. It's, I mean, it's sad, obviously, but cool that someone that uh, worked, in, in my opinion, I keep saying recently, but The Mandalorian has been out for a bit. Season two has been out for a bit, but I still consider it new and fresh for me. Sure. Uh, well, to, especially in comparison to like a lot yeah. of the movies and stuff, right? Sure, so. yeah. But anyway, so rest in peace, and uh, we uh, look forward to seeing Shauna's work uh, throughout the rest of my life, really, well, <laughs> right? Sure, yeah. Like I'll keep watching those episodes, and I'm sure that uh, the work that she did will continue to, to – to inform Influence future and stuff future even, designers yeah. yeah yep